Online is a non-profit, fan-based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. Come on, Silica. I need to increase my leather working. Just hand over the dragon already. I can't believe I have to explain why you can't skin my friend! And I can't believe I need to explain why I need leather pants. Come on, Silica. Leather pants. Hey, if it'll make you feel better, I can make you a pair too. I don't want to wear my pet, you monster! Well, there's just no pleasing you, is there? Screw this! I don't need you! I'll form my own party! It's just gonna be me and Pina, and it's gonna be awesome! Side of a king. <gasps> That's okay. You're doing your best. But I'm not doing so hot. Do you think you can all the off for a second? <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't mean a literal second, but you couldn't know that. Oh my goodness. Pina! Are you evolving? Yes, Pina! Evolve into a beautiful dragon and we'll fly through the night to freedom! Are you unharmed, my lady? Uh, what? I said, could you stop staring at me? It's creepy! I can see you got your own thing going on here. Don't want to intrude. I'll just buy myself a spot that isn't full of crying children. Oh look, there's one now. Aren't you gonna ask me what's wrong? Yeah, I'm not pulling the pin on that grenade. You're right. I'm sorry. This isn't your fault. Your fault. <laughs> what's wrong, little girl? Well, I guess it all started when I was born. My mom was a bit of a drinker. <laughs> but sober, that was just not in the cards. And then those gorillas showed up and attacked me. But thankfully, Pina stopped them long enough for you to save me. And then, you know the rest. God, do I ever! I can never unknow! These brain cells could have been used to formulate the perfect strategy to get us out of this game. Instead, they've memorized what kind of crayons you like to eat when you were four. I liked the purple ones. Yeah, I know, and the blue ones were too tart. Ugh, if I tell you how to resurrect your hamster, will you leave me alone? Dragon. Kid, no language on Earth has a word for how little I care. A quantum supercomputer calculating for a thousand years could not even approach the number of fucks I do not give. The friggin' heat death of the universe could not- Are you gonna tell me or not? Eh, sure, whatever. Allegedly, the dungeon on the 47th floor, called the Hill of Memories, drops an item that revives pets. Oh my goodness! Up, 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 cool your jet, Sippy. There's more to it than that. For one thing, the item won't work three days after death. And since you just spent the last seven hours making me consider the pros and cons of a lobotomy via soup spoon, I'd say you got your work cut out for you. Oh no! Let's get going! We've got no time to lose! Yeah, about that. What do you mean you're not going? I could die on my own! I believe I made myself clear about my number of fucks and willingness to give them. Silica? Oh my god, how awesome! you? I'm fine. And where's your little dragon friend? Pina died. Oh, that's too bad. Did you at least manage to make some good pants out of her? No! Oh, such a waste. She's right, you know. Dragon leather is surprisingly comfortable. Kirito, that's not funny! I'm gonna get that item and revive her for sure! Oh, Kirito, is it? Are you her new teammate? That's adorable! It's so nice to see Silica found someone on her level. <laughs> 
What? Oh no, no, it's cute! I love the whole tough guy persona you've got going on there. Very convincing. I'm sure you'll have no problem clearing the Hill of Memories. Actually, Kirito said he's not- Come on, Saga. We've got a hamster to save. You mean you're gonna help me? Yay! Operation Save Penis, go! So, uh, hey, uh, random question. Uh, you didn't hear anything weird last night, did you? Uh... <laughs> uh, no, definitely not! I'm like a super heavy sleeper, so... <laughs> good, good. <clears throat> yeah. Sleep is... sleep is good. So... who's Sachi? I knew it! Ah! We need to have to hook up this Um, I think you have more pressing concerns. Well, what do we do? Just stay calm. You already have everything you need to beat it. The power to believe in myself? No, a knife! Stab it! Yeah, maybe you should stick behind me. You're so low level, you're aggroing everything in this place. Oh, don't worry about me, Kitty Toe. I can take care of myself. Ah, <sighs> this is gonna be my whole day, isn't it? Kitty Toe, look! There it is! All right, one down. Yeah, wait. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we're gonna need like 50 more of these suckers, then we trade them back in town for a gem, which we give to this gatekeeper so that'll let us into another dungeon where we fight a series of bosses to get the real flower. That's insane! Who decided a game this way? You don't play a lot of RPGs, do you? Man, I thought we were done after that seventh boss, but then BAM! There's number eight! I just... I just wanna go home. Wait, hold on, Silica. Do mine eyes deceive me? Tis the fabled word tree of Gamagora, font of human knowledge and devourer of souls. Quickly, child, we must spear it away before it- Oh my god, will you just come out already? Ah, your detection skill must be quite high for you to have known I was here. Rosalia? Oh my god, how are you? Oh god, wow, that's enough of that. Jesus, how do you put up that act all day? Oh, so you saw through me, did you? You're quite a clever boy to have figured out that I'm actually the leader of Titan's Hand. <laughs> Titan's hand? Wow, I thought you might be someone dangerous like Laughing Coffin. Never even heard of you. Laugh all you like. We're still one of the most feared orange guilds on the lower floors. Ooh, impressive. You can frighten players that think slimes are terrifying. Have you seen their eyes? They have no souls! Ah, so quick with the snark. Of course, that's all you really have going on, isn't it? A witty retort to distract everyone from what you really are. A sad, lonely little boy with no one who loves him. Someone so dead inside, he'd use a child as bait to lure me out. Mr. Kirito would never do something so horrible. Nah, she's right, I totally did that. What? And to top it all off, you play the tough guy. This invincible warrior you can never hope to be in the real world. Getting stuck in this game was probably the best thing to ever happen to you. But there's one thing this game will never let you hide. The one thing that's haunted you your whole life that you can never escape. You sound like a girl. <laughs> what? No, I don't sound like a girl. That's crazy! That's crazy! <laughs> Well, it looks like my work here is done. I do so enjoy our chats, but I really must be off. We'll be taking the Numa flower now, if you don't mind. Really? Little old you is going to take it from us? That'd be a neat trick! Indeed, but a magician is nothing without her lovely assistance. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Kirito! There's so many of them! I'll back you up! Ah, that's adorable. You think they're a threat? Well, you just sit tight. Show's about to start. Careful, though. The first three rows are a splash zone. What do you mean by that? <laughs> um, boss, a, a thought occurs. This guy thought he was going up against Laughing Coffin, but he still just brought himself and a small child. Are you sure we want to mess with this guy? Please, the boys all talk. And now that I've broken him, he's not even that anymore. He's nothing but a gibbering mess grasping at straws. Ooh, another one of your famous theories. Tell you what, I'll give you the first shot. See how that goes. 
boss, I think this might be a trap. Enough! You're all level 45, and there's seven of you! I think you've got this! Now kill him! <laughs> oh no! I knew it! Rosalia really got inside his head! He's not even fighting back! Well, I guess it's up to me to save him, Rats! Wait, what? Man, you guys are out of shape. Really ought to do some cardio. What are you idiots doing? Quit screwing around and finish him! I don't understand! We threw everything we had at him! How is he still standing? How? Well, it's quite simple, really. You see, girly, you may think you got me all figured out, but there's one thing you didn't account for. My numbers are bigger than yours! Funny thing, really. Get to a high enough level and you're basically untouchable. My wounds heal faster than you can make them. We could do this all day and you would not be any closer to beating me. Not that it wouldn't be fun. But I've got good news. You see, there's no need to wonder where your god is. Because he's right here. And he's fresh out of mercy. Well, way to prove my point, kid! Lording your stats over them like some kind of god! Your strength is nothing but an illusion to cover! I'm getting real tired of your first year psych student bullshit. Enjoy this while you can. It's the deepest you'll ever be in a woman. Yeah, well, you're dead, so... Damn it! So... How are you doing? Fine. Why? Well, you did just kill someone. Doesn't that make you feel... something? Oh, feelings? Yeah, I don't have those anymore. Went cold turkey. What? You can't just do that? What's the point in living if you can't feel happiness, wonder, love? Or the sweet taste of revenge. You're right, Silica. What's the point in living if I can't enjoy such simple things? Ugh, close enough. You're a good friend, Silica. We should go on more adventures. Um... I don't think so. Don't take this the wrong way, Mr. Kirito. I'm grateful for your help, but you're like the worst person I've ever met. Is that your big plan here, huh? Make me feel feelings so you can cut me down a peg? That cuts deep, kid. But I respect that. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. But I suppose it'll all be worth it to have Pina back. That's the spirit. Let's get started. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs>